Congress is poised to raise the age to buy tobacco and vaping products from 18 to 21 nationwide. Now, that's already the case here in California, but KSUI news reporter Asia Gore joins us live in the newsroom with some insight on how much of an impact the law has already had here. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, Christina. The answer is not much. San Luis Obispo County health officials say the impact of increasing the buying age for tobacco products could have been greater, but the introduction of vaping products is stunting progress. The number of smokers in California outnumbers the population of several states. That's according to a recent health assessment. But the number of smokers, 2.8 million adults in 2017, represents 10 percent of California's population, far less than the national average of 17 percent. Health officials say that's due in part to the state's strict public tobacco use laws and restrictions on tobacco sales to people under age 21. Ninety five percent of adult smokers started before the age of 21. And we know that if we can get a person up to the age of 21 uh, without smoking, the chances of them smoking um, in young adulthood or further on are very minimal. San Luis Obispo County's Tobacco Control Division expected a major decline in teen smoking with the 2016 law, but program manager Inger Apinaitis says another product took the place of cigarettes. According to her data, about 5% of Slow County youth report smoking cigarettes, while over 25% say they use vaping devices. Congress and local health officials hope that by instituting an increased age limit to buy tobacco and vaping products that it'll slow the use among teens. 19 states total have already implemented some sort of age restriction increase on tobacco products. Live in the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Thank you, Asia. And the measure is included in the House-approved government spending bill, which the president is expected to sign.